It's that time of year and a lot of us are going on vacay. We're like, finally, I get to leave this city. But we're all worried about losing our gains on vacation. So today I wanna give you some tips on how to keep your gains and still enjoy yourself while you're on vacation. So are you worried about losing your hard earned gains? You've worked so hard to get to where you are, but you don't want to undo all the progress while you're enjoying your time off. You know from past experiences that it's easy to slip up gain weight, and especially when you don't have any equipment or time to work out. But fear not, because Coach RJ is here to help. In this video, I'm gonna share my top tips to staying track on your fitness goals while on vacation, including how to prepare beforehand, maintaining your diet, and stay active even without equipment. So, if you're ready to have a great time on your trip without sacrificing your gains, stick around and let's get started. And hey, before we dive in, tell me in the comments below where you're planning to go for your next vacation. So where are you heading to next? Put it in the comments. Go ahead, do it right now. And while you're down there typing, go ahead and give the video a like. So you work hard and you wanna keep those gains. The number one thing that I'm gonna tell you is that the week before you go for your trip, completely work your ass off. Like, I mean, doing extra workouts, going for an extra run, putting yourself into a major caloric deficit before you go. Because in the end, if you don't have access to a gym or you won't have time to a gym, if you've doubled up on your workouts, I know you can't really time condense all your workouts and they're better off to be consistent in long term. But in this case, this one time scenario, go ahead and amplify your workouts that you're currently doing the week before. Put yourself into a major caloric deficit. And then this way, when you go to your trip, it's all about balance, right? So it's like you got high load over here, you got low load over here you'll meet it in the middle at the end of that one week or two weeks, however long you're gone for. So what I would tell you is that before you go on your trip, do everything, you know, hire the right coach, make sure that they give you the right guidance so that you can lose as much weight as possible because we know it happens as soon as we put all those carbs back in us. A lot of you guys like to drink or you're sitting around more just relaxing on a beach we're naturally going to gain weight, right? Like the productivity, the activity has decreased significantly. We're burning less calories when we're on vacation. We're eating more calories than we're burning. Ultimately, you're gonna gain weight. So if you put yourself in a five to 10 pound deficit before you get out there, that gives you five to 10 pounds to gain back while you're on, while you're on vacation. And then they'll just put you at point zero. And it's not like you're starting over, you're just starting from where you left off. When you're on vacation, try to do intermittent fasting. We all know what happens once we start eating. Once we start eating, it's hard to stop. I know me personally, when I'm on vacation, I have my hardest time to stop eating at night. But if I can push my fast earlier in the day, then if I don't eat anything, just have a coffee or a tea until about noon, then that gives me a solid eight hour window to eat whatever I want. And so I would tell you that try and push your fasting window as far as you can. I know a lot of people that you travel with might really like breakfast, but maybe you just skip breakfast and you have a big meal with them at lunch. There's no reason why you can't just sit there, have a coffee, enjoy conversation. Now I know that's very tough to do, so maybe you would have to sneak off, and I've done this myself, where I get my work done before everybody wakes up, right? The kids roll out of bed around 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock. I'll get up around 6.30, and I'll do my half hour to an hour of work. In your case, you're going to do your half hour to hour of workouts. So if you're somewhere warm, bonus, go and try running for once. Or if you're at a great condo, maybe they got a tennis court. Maybe you can get out there and just do some like man makers, some agility stuff, or throw in a virtual. Now, if you're at an all-inclusive, there's a good chance that they have a gym. So sneak off, grab yourself a cup of coffee, take your leaners, boom, get yourself fired up, and there's no better way to start your day than with a workout. Now, when it comes to your meals, obviously, if you find something that you love, go ahead and have it. But when you're looking at your plate, try and really fill your plate with as much greens as possible. Even though the greens are probably covered in butter and salt and all that good stuff, it's still better than just filling it with french fries and waffles or whatever it is, all those like super saturated carbs. So try and have as much greens on the plate as possible and try to get as much protein. So if it comes down to breakfast, pack it with some type of greens, put some type of like protein in there, such as like scrambled eggs. If it's a dinner, then focus on the meat, put a little vegetables, and then try and pack on as much carbs as you possibly can. But don't have a side plate of carbs. 
have the carbs wherever space you have left on that plate. And I guarantee if you do this, the amount of calories that you're consuming are gonna be higher quality calories. They're gonna to help to maintain the muscle that mass that you have. And it's also gonna to help to stabilize your curb for your appetite and stabilize your weight. So the next time that you go on a trip, I want you to take these tips I want you to implement them, okay? So you're going to try intermittent fasting, you're going to try and lose as much weight or do as much activity prior to your trip as possible. You're gonna sneak out a little bit early and you're gonna get your 30 minutes in, whether that's at the gym, going for a run, or doing a virtual. And then last but not least, you're going to super saturate your plate with protein, vegetables, and then the carbs. We'll see you on the next video.